I never built a machine that I didn't know would work. You know, it was, wasn't, I wouldn't let anything go out in the field half-ass. My brother owned American Augers. He wanted to sell the company and I couldn't afford to buy it. And he then did sell it. And I got laid off. And I started barbecue. I borrowed money and you know, started barbecue. I started with American Augers back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And I was the tech guy for, for American Augers. So I went out to almost all the jobs. I thought that was the best way for me to learn how to bore. But nothing like the education I got from the old boring hands as far as my job is concerned. And, uh, you know, Jim Barbera, Leo Barbera, Dick Rocknich from the field, he was a great guy. Well, with Dick, I worked on a police department with Dick. And we used to ride bike. He, he'd done the same thing, tech work, design of the equipment, sales. At that point, we had to do both. He has since passed away. But... Uh, I enjoyed his company. You just can't walk on a guy's job and say, hey, we, you can't do this. And he's gonna tell you to go to hell, and I, he's gonna show me how he can do it. And you build something that don't work, you scrap it. So it was a big cost. But I did know how to do the job. I know what I needed. The innovations have always been there, it's just finding them. And it's usually, it could be by accident. Uh, a lot of innovations come out of the field. Guys call us right. because they've got a better idea. Some have been used, some have been tested, and it, it doesn't apply. Uh, but everybody's been a part, part of making this market grow, including the customer. If you were to say something to customers and employees, what would you say? First of all, I'd like to thank them all for having confidence in me and buying my, my equipment. It's, it's a hard decision to make, spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on equipment. 